Hey guys, today we're doing another setting challenge video. We got Connor versus Colin, and uh, Connor gets to use $5,000 top of the line new holds, and Colin gets some very old holds that total around $1,000. We're gonna see if Connor's lack of experience can be made up for with these expensive holds. It will. <laughs> I'll be the judge, <laughs> and I'll be judging off of enjoyment, which is just subjectively how much I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, creativity, which is, I mean, they're all pretty subjective, but creativity is going to be how interesting the movement is uh, and how unique, and then safety, which is how well the holds are screwed onto the wall and whether or not there's any glaring issues with somebody potentially getting injured. Okay, let's get right into it. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> First, oh no. Connor lost the last setting video challenge, so we finally got his t-shirt. Oh Connor. Oh, why is it bright green? This? Oh, no. <laughs> is the t-shirt he has to wear. Oh, my God. And he spelled my name wrong, too. That's so messed up. <laughs> oh. All right, buddy. Put it on. Oh, oh no. Colin and I were given these amazing shirts by uh, at Drag Me Up the Wall on Instagram, also known as Michelle, based out of Taiwan. We got super sick hand-drawn designs on the back. Yeah, so where all of us are dripped out, we've got the, the Drag Me Up The Wall shirts, Connor's got his own special shirt, so. Yeah. Oh, it's so itchy. <laughs> it's such poor quality, too. Oh my god, that is extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, did you notice how the design is off-center as well? <laughs> this is thing, so uh, We lost the timer that we were using last time, so we're just gonna do it on the phone. Got one hour, starting now. <laughs> okay. So, don't let him hear this, but here's the idea. We're gonna start. Bottom left. It's gonna go right. Then we're gonna do a redirect dyno to the top. It's gonna be sick. The good holds are gonna make this easy and I'm gonna crush it. Do you think it's easier to set with better holds or harder? I actually think it's harder. Screw-ons take more sc Oh. So, so I'm getting the worst end of the deal? What do you have? Well, it's easier if you can make a cool, interesting boulder. Connor uh -huh. is using top of the line VTF holds, which is basically the newest material on the whole market. Uh, it's basically fiberglass, but better in every single way. So Connor's gonna get some major point boosts if he manages to use them correctly. All right, so meanwhile over here, Colin has the classic Jimmy Slopers and Kilter Granites. Two of my personal favorite hold sets. They, uh, they just are tried and true. You can see them in many gyms, and uh, I think Colin can do something great with those as well. Walk me through what you're what you're see, see, Do you see this big foot to start? That is thinking. Cool. So you're going to press into one of the big ping kilter shapes, grab a little side shift to have something to grab onto. And the idea is that it's like a kind of a one-two where you have to stab like a relatively small foot. And so I'm going to basically get you in a pressing position. You have to jump leftwards and be like, time the hands and a foot very well to like carry through on a sloper and grab a jug. And I haven't really planned out the top of the climb, but We'll, uh, we'll see how things play out. And we have a, I'm glad to be getting the volume already on the wall, so I have a lot of time to figure this out. Sounds like we've got a coordination move showdown. Both people are planning a pretty complex dyno. I think I'll dock some points if we can find a beta break on either one of them. <laughs> All right, first screws being drilled. A little stressful. Okay, fuck it, this is gonna have to work. How many screws do you need for it to be safe? Depends on the hold, at least three or four. At least three or four. Okay, we're gonna do four. It's gonna be so heavy. I'm really curious to see. <laughs> I'm really curious to see how well Connor can put a, a volume on the wall. He had to ask for help for me to take one off when we were stripping the wall. <laughs> hey, here we go. <laughs> what I'm thinking is it's basically gonna be one one try. <laughs> Once this goes on the volume wall, it's not it's not getting adjusted. So it better go on correctly the first time. Yay! Jake's fixing my broken... <laughs> See, this is, this is sabotage. Colin probably came here last night, fucked up our screws. We're at 48 minutes, so they got plenty of time. It's like a quarter of my time is gone. You're fine, you got I'm it. One hold? <laughs> You're gonna have like four holds, bro. I felt the position, and I'm thinking I need to move my volume a little bit left, so like... Time to unfortunately move my <laughs> volume, which I was hoping not to do. Dude, this is so scary. <laughs> this is the second boulder that I've ever set. <laughs> this is kind of terrifying. Oh my god. 
So here's my thoughts. I'm actually thinking it's gonna be like a redirect and then just the right hand is gonna come out and you're gonna catch it in like a shoulder move and like hand foot match to match the finish. All right, so an issue I'm seeing right now is that Connor's holds are really far apart on a hold that's like not positive for the catch. So your wrist needs to be like that in order to hit that hold well. And the left hand is over here. So we're gonna have like a huge shoulder catch, like really far out of here. So it's gonna be really tough to stick that. Um, also, both of these boulders have a very similar issue with beta breaks, where stopping on the first hold is something that's really hard to force. Um, both of these moves, I think, are actually two of the hardest coordination damage to force. Um, from uh, having to flow out of the way perspective. Especially with Colin here, um, when he's four running, he might find that he can just stop on the first hole for both of them. We'll see how it goes. So, it only gets easier from here. My strat was to start at the top, so now I can just use the tiny ladders. And I've got all the hard, all the hard holes out of the way. We'll go here. We'll give them like a foot here, and then they'll just have to absolutely launch. And I think in the end it'll work. I might make this hold worse. Yeah, that's a good idea. Or maybe you can take it away. I was, well, the other one I would give is like. Oh, wait. I caught I'll give you a good two. Oh, I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> My boulder's perfect. All right, it is, it is. <laughs> the other one I was thinking of using for a hand would be this one that just is enough to like. Hold, there's no lip to it, and so maybe I'll switch this to a bigger foot. Oh my god, I can't believe I came up with that. I'm very glad I came up with that. <laughs> 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 I gotta say, I think a bonus of working with these holds is they're so light. Which is like, it makes it so easy to set. <laughs> Like, one of the biggest differences between like the, the hold prices is these ones, they're great I shapes. These holds are really heavy. Oh, this is like, this is at least like five to 10 pounds. And Connors are like one to two pounds, even like some of the big shapes over there. And so get, just getting my holds on the wall is like slightly more taxing. This is gonna be the foot that you're jumping off of. And I think I'm gonna use, ooh, actually with these holds, I don't know. I was hoping to maybe use some crimps to like climb into it. So that way, like, you have to use the crimps to climb into it, but they're basically unusable afterwards. All right, guys, you got 30 minutes left. 30 minutes? 30 minutes, halfway done. I'm really curious to see how Connor's gonna test his boulder. I think it just has to rely on blind faith, because this dino is so hard, I don't think he's gonna be able to do it in his feet, geez. <laughs> the distance from that bottom foot to the hand is like 10 to 12 feet. <laughs> so, well, you're gonna stick this down, climb this, the, uh, the coordination move. Get your right foot up on that slopey foot. You're gonna throw yourself this way to catch this pink, and I'm hoping that it would be hard to stop on, and so you swing this way, and as you're swinging into the wall, you stab your foot on the, uh, on the previous pink hold and grab this blue crimp. And then the last move, I want you to take these two, it's gonna be scary, and, but safe. <laughs> scary but safe. You're taking these two, pogoing to this pretty big jug and calling that the finish. I will say, I usually have a pretty high threshold of like what counts as safe when climbing. I think that last move is definitely safe enough, especially for a hard comp style boulder. I think the jump up to the left side that could potentially send you into a pit of shelves and holds is the unsafe part. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. I'm excited to see. Dude, this boulder's getting really hard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh-oh. I think I need to adjust the feet for this dyno. Yeah, like not a feel. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> but, uh, uh, <laughs> not of me. Come here, come here. Look at this hold. <laughs> no, that's fine. It's a foothold. They're meant to do that. What's going on with that? <laughs> Adding a little blocker in this hold so that you have to grab it down here. This part. Yeah, you guys have 23 minutes and around 40 seconds remaining. Yeah. My boulder wasn't 4 in last time, which was kind of crazy. Yeah, it was pretty good. Colin's boulders usually look pretty jank, but then they end up flowing really well, so I have confidence in him. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. I've left myself enough time to start testing a little bit, so 
I need to make sure though to leave enough time to make like give myself five minutes so everything is set screwed and I don't have a hole just come flying out of the wall. <laughs> so that would that would dock me a lot of points. <laughs> I think I'm gonna dock half a point for every hold that's not set screwed properly. So, <laughs> gotta make sure they do that. Less than 20 minutes remaining. <laughs> not stressed at all. This is fine. I still don't have a start, but that's okay. It's okay, this boulder doesn't need to be forerun. It's just gonna be perfect. Ow. That, wow. <laughs> that worked really well. Right. Mid. <laughs> <laughs> the, the last two moves are working really well. There's definitely potential for like beta breaks, but I'm thinking the beta breaks might be just harder than the normal way. So we're doing the start now. So I'm thinking the start's gonna be something like this, and then maybe it's like a one-two. Could be kind of sick, but we'll see if that actually works how I want it to. Okay. Honestly, it's actually. I think it's. It's gotten a lot better. Uh, it, might actually, it might actually work out pretty well. Ah, there we go. Okay. I think I'm almost done. I think last foot chip, and then I need to do some safety screws. And then, and then we're good. Yeah, I don't have any screws though. <laughs> Wanted to take off the crimps for that first move, but just realizing that I need something just a little bit worse. These two are good enough. We're gonna have to roll with it. Alright, guys, five minutes remaining. Any final tweaks? After this, we will not be able to edit the ball this time further. Alright, five, four, three, two, and one. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna first inspect all the holds and make sure it's all set properly. And uh, then we can just get our shoes on and begin for running. Basically this can happen if, as we see, Colin does have four set screws in this volume, but they're all kind of tend to wrap around just two sides of that boulder, meaning that the other side is going to have a little bit of give to it. Shouldn't be the biggest issue of the, in the world, especially because we're pressing down on these holds, um, but it is something to note for the future. It probably won't cost him any points though. Oh my god. That is kind of cool though. I'm a fan of that. Feels good. This hole's fine. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so the majority of holds are looking great on this climb. I'm gonna say Colin's pretty good on safety. Uh, nothing is really wrong here. That was in his control. Uh, with the exception of that small volume. Flex, maybe we'll have a half a point taken off of that. <laughs> we'll see, but that should be, it should be mostly good. I'm pretty happy with that. I, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I have a lot of holds on this climb. Definitely a bit more than Connor, so I'm glad I made sure to check everything. True. Yeah, especially because you get, I mean, the first goal is get the holds on the wall, and then yeah. you start, it's pretty easy to forget. Like, I mean, I didn't I didn't check the flexibility of the first foot. I was climbing on it, it didn't feel like, I didn't feel anything, so I like, I you know, it's tough to inspect every single element. Yeah. Fine. This has the same problem as Colin's holder, except, the pull direction is the direction that's wobbly, meaning that there's a very real chance you can cause some serious line. damage to the You're pulling straight down on it to jump. This is exactly the way you'd use this, this hold. So let's throw a screw on it right now. We call it, Connor's definitely gonna lose a point for that one. That seems scripted. That's like a perfect textbook example. <laughs> that volume is looking very, very, Actually, this one can probably be fine. It's got four screws. Yeah. I, think. I didn't see that I, uh, the screws in here, so you should be fine on this front. 
Uh oh. Big gap in between this hold. And I can fully crimp on. I'd say like in a lot of scenarios, it's not that bad if there's like a little bit of space in between the wall. Uh, but in this case, like that's not properly set. And there's a lot of strain being compressed, like compressing the hold into it. I'd say other than that though, it's pretty good. I think that just gets remedied by removing the bottom two screws and re-screwing them in. So we can have Connor do that. So because uh, these material, uh, this, these holds are new materials, we don't really know how to work with them super well yet. It's a little unfair to dot Connor points for that one. I don't, yeah, this wasn't his fault. I think the other one was yeah. fair. <laughs> yeah, the other one was definitely, uh, yeah. definitely could have been remedied. But for this one, we're just gonna tape it off and or just simply not grab that part because we're not in a commercial setting. We're gonna floor him now. We're gonna start with Connor's boulder right here. We're just gonna do a normal flooring process, no like formal format. So we're just gonna kind of discuss and see how the boulders turn out. So the first move is supposed to be dynamic? Yeah, it's supposed to be dynamic. I'd say probably like eight out of ten enjoyment. For sure. I think Sick. it's like eight or nine. Oh. I think eight because of the inconsistencies, but it's eight because like I'm docking points. It would be low key like ten if it was like perfectly <laughs> perfectly spaced. Yeah. Colin Boulder next. He has to beat a score of uh, 22. twenty-two out of thirty. We'll see. I uh, I hope so. But Connor Connor's climb is cool. I tried it a little bit, but this first move has not gone yet. Come on. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, not even seven, seven and a half, man. Yeah. Dude, remember the women's finals folder? They had just like two and a half degrees. Yeah, and then they flashed it. Oh, a nice call in. Really interesting that sign storage. Alright, so the final score is going to be a total of, I think, 22 for Connor and 24 for Colin. I'll say, like, personally, I didn't have, I didn't really try them that much, so I can't, like, say too much about the enjoyment. But based on how much fun people seem to have around <laughs> it, I think saying, like, a 7 would be good for Colin's, and then also uh, creativity, it's, I mean, it's, it's pretty damn creative. Yeah, so, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I will say I have a redirect down of pet peeve right now. <laughs> but yeah, I guess maybe we'll put a call on at 25 and say an A for creativity. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. All cool. Right, cool. Peace. Peace. Peace.